Hi, this is Kyle from the Technology Learning Center, and for this month in the TLC, we will be focusing on a larger paleontology theme, also known as the study of history of life on Earth, usually through fossils. For today, I have a quick video showing how to create your own homemade amber. Amber itself is fossilized tree resin and has also been a helpful tool in the study of ancient organisms as the amber sometimes contains animals and plants that got caught in the resin before it became fossilized, preserving them for a really long time. For this project, we are using epoxy resin, which comes in two parts, labeled part A and part B, as well as some yellow food dye to help create our amber color. I also have a flexible mold to pour our resin into, as well as cups used for measuring the resin in. After getting on some gloves for this potentially messy project, I'm going to pour an equal amount of part A and part B of our resin mixture into our measuring cups. Making sure I have equal amounts, I will then pour both parts into the same mold and mix them together carefully, adding my food dye to the mixture at this point as well. Now you will want to stir carefully as bubbles may form in the mixture. You'll also want to keep stirring very thoroughly to make sure both parts are equally mixed. To more accurately represent this as amber, I'm also going to put a tiny cutout silhouette of a fly into our resin mixture. Once you have your molds filled with your resin mixture, you will want to find a warm area for them to cure at, giving them a possible 24 hours to harden depending on how much resin is used. Once finished, you are left with your very own amber piece. If you enjoyed this craft, stay tuned for this month as we'll be publishing more paleontology themed crafts in future videos. Enjoy your craft!